Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00, and more specifically, welcome to the Armory. This is where all weapons from Halo Law will be featured and analysed in detail. In this episode, we look at the M6C Magnum. Let's begin. The M6C Personal Defence Weapon System, otherwise known as the M6C Magnum sidearm, is a United Nations Space Command sidearm. It is a variant of the Misria Armory's M6 handgun series. The M6C Magnum sidearm is a short to medium range UNSC handgun that was distributed to members of the UNSC Marine Corps, particularly members of vehicle crews. This model has been upsized to be used by Spartans in Mjolnir armor, even though the Spartan issue pistols are larger than the standard issue variants, around about 117%, they can still share magazines. The M6C is a semi-automatic recoil operated magazine fed handgun. It has DA or double action only trigger and fires an M228 12.7x40mm SAP HP round or semi-armour piercing high penetration from a 12 round magazine. It has a considerably high rate of fire, 6 rounds per second or 360 rounds per minute with a limited maximum effective range being able to hit a target accurately only at about 20 meters at least as what is observed in game. The M6C is considered to be the weaker of the currently usable M6 series models in that it has a reduced accuracy, a shorter effective range and a lower efficiency rate against shielded, armoured and soft targets. Its length measures 22.8 centimeters or 8 inches in length although the upsized variant is 26.7cm or 10.5 inches in length. The standard variant is 1.8 kilograms or about 4 pounds and the upsized variant is 2.7 kilograms or 6 pounds. The M6C uses the short recoil principle. Because it is semi-automatic the gun will cock itself after every shot due to the recoil and will continue to do so until the magazine is empty. The recoil comes from the gases of the rounds fired. These gases force the slide located on the top of the gun backward. The slide goes all the way to the rear, absorbing the force of the gases and bringing the spent casing with it via the extractor. Once the ejector port is completely opened, the ejector throws the spent casing out of the weapon. Of course, before the first round can be fired, the round must be chambered, and this is done first by inserting a magazine with the ammunition into the grip of the weapon and second by pulling the slide back completely and letting it launch forward, chambering a round on the way. When the round is chambered, the extractor goes over the rim of the cartridge casing, allowing for a positive extraction upon firing. There is a small red rectangular box on the flat back of the slide that protrudes slightly when the weapon is cocked. Once this is done, the safety, located at the back of the slide on both sides, must be switched off or the weapon will not fire. Once all of the rounds have been spent, the slide catch, a rectangular lever located above the trigger, is forced upward and catches the slide by a little notch. To reload, the empty magazine must be removed. This is done so by using the magazine release button, which is located on the grip. Once the empty mag is out, a fresh one can be inserted. Once the fresh mag is inserted, the slide catch is pressed downward and the slide chambers around. The M6C SOCOM, also known as the M6S and informally known as the Automag, is a semi-automatic pistol used by the UNSC and it is a variant of the M6C Magnum sidearm and features a silencer and a smart scope attachment. The M6C Magnum uses a 12.7x40mm or 50 caliber semi-armor piercing high penetration round. These rounds have a jacket of copper or nickel which encloses a more frangible metal projectile that will deform shortly after penetration. When the round hits a hard object such as body armour, the jacket will temporarily help maintain the shape of the projectile so that it has a better chance of penetration. A second impact against bone or solid muscle mass inside the target's body is usually enough to complete the jacket's rupture, at which point the projectile mushrooms and fragments into smaller pieces, causing a large number of wound channels and maximising damage. These rounds are typically more effective against infantry as opposed to armour piercing rounds due to the larger dump of kinetic energy, resulting in better terminal ballistics profile and also to the process previously described with an armour piercing round speeding through the target's body without causing as much trauma, creating a scenario where a wounded enemy can still be an effective combatant until they bleed out. 
ammunition packets for the M6C Magnum are labelled in the same blue colour as all other M6 sidearm ammunition packs, however each ammunition pack has a different shade and text to denote the type of ammunition used. The M6C is a defensive sidearm allowing for a successful engagement at close range. The M6C's Magnum's 12.7mm ammunition does a considerable amount of damage against flesh-based infantry. The large calibre bullet along with its large cartridge size yields a large amount of kinetic energy, coupled with its high rate of fire and semi-armour piercing ability makes the M6C a choice sidearm against unshielded infantry over short distances. The M6C when compared to the strength of other versions of the M6 Magnum series is considered the weaker of the military issue sidearms. Its inability to engage infantry at medium or long ranges is the weapon's main disadvantage. For this reason the M6C is mostly issued to vehicular crews as the weapon's nature serves a more passive defensive role. The weapon's accuracy when compared to the other M6 models is about a fifth as accurate as the M6D having a large shot spread at close ranges. This, combined with its minimal damage against current shield systems, makes it a poor weapon of choice when used in offensive situations. The M6C's default ammunition has no secondary effects, limiting its effectiveness against heavily armoured infantry. That being said, the M6C is a step away from the M6D, but its ability to dual wield and its high calibre projectile makes it a very powerful addition to the UNSC's small arms arsenal. Nothing says STFU like a 50 calibre handgun round through the cranium. Thanks for watching. Sticky comments down below, I look forward to what you have to say. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons, Satenshi, the silent cartographer, Brian, Sebastian, Red Sea, Darian and Neek, the holders of the mantle, Ty, Black Biscuit, J Rabbit, Austin, Kaiser, Silux, Reclaimer216, The Revanche, Wolf Slim and Andre, my reclaimers, Zach, Deep Cover, Verbal Statue, Spesico, Spartan, A498, Guppy, Josh, Mickey, Bastion, Molchar, Slithery Tube Dude, Night Rise, Sierra G059 and Alpharius, my Metox, and all the other patrons that have jumped aboard to support the channel. You guys are awesome and all of this wouldn't be possible without you. If you like Halo Lore discussed to insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're told the second a new video heads the shelves. Be sure to support us on all major social media channels including Discord, and if you really love the channel consider heading over to Patreon and supporting the channel over there. It would mean the world to me and would free up more of my time for me to put into this content and other Halo related goodness. Take it easy everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>